What's up, guys? How y'all doing again? Sorry y'all missed us last week. You know, kind of busy and stuff, but stuff happens. So, what's going on, Rob? What's going on with you, man? Nothing, man. Just bored and school and stuff. I'm lying! Because I just watched Tori go. <laughs> That's what I'm lying about. <laughs> yes. So, well, well, so to keep y'all current, we're at, you know what I'm saying, uh, Ice Hell. Mm -hmm. And our hair just got here. So, now, the big boulder coming to the boat. You know, that's how it ended off in 25. So, you just see this big boulder. How do you think it's going to get rid of it? How do you think it's going to get rid of it? Mm -hmm. Well, Tori goes like, um, she's going to do this real quick. Flying knife. Flying fork. And shattered that thing. So he did a full out combo on his one thing. So if Toriko was on Street Fighter, that'd be his ultra. It had to be. I would use, I would use that move every time. Save up bar. I'll take a couple hits. I'll take a couple hits. <laughs> yeah. People out there. Take a couple hits for that. There needs to be a Toriko video game sidebar. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Well we'll get back to that later, maybe at the end of this. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, this is just further going into depth of who like who's going on this voyage. You got Toriko, you got Komatsu, of course, and you got Match and Taki Takamaru, the gourmet knight. We're still on this guy because oh man, he's that's he's he must be on your team. He's on my team. I don't know about you. He's on my team. What are you doing? Preparing my attack. Can you not prepare on camera? Jesus, stop it. Dude. Are you concentrating on me? Oh, I'm about to concentrate. <sighs> well, what he's doing now, he's like, what, what he does, he does what, preset routine? Mm -hmm. And pretty much what that is, that is the, I guess, kata, if, if y'all understand me, the kata, pretty much the preparation for the big move. Now, I guess we're, I mean, we're kind of just meshing this together here, but, you know, he just dislodged people's spines that, that hurts he breaks bones like cleanly because he hits them with so much force that it breaks their bones from, from the outside in like clean break right and it's just like this like these two episodes you know about the ice hell and they're trying to get to the soup and stuff basically you split it up into three camps whatever you have Toriko and Madge and all the whole crew and then you have the poor porter Following. She's too fine for this, man. Good old, following good old Zebra. His Zombie? Zombie. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm going to call him Zebra. <laughs> that's what all the rest of the characters call him. <laughs> yeah, and then you have the mystery person that's been haunting us for like four or five episodes. Hmm. Don't know who it is. Not at all. But I, I might have some good ideas who it might be. Hmm. But, you know, that's, you know, just get from that or whatnot. It's, this place where they're at now is, is so much crazy stuff. Like, normal, you know, a single drop of water could kill you because it could turn into a big ice shard. They, the ice in this place and the wind was so powerful that they were getting shot with, like, ice blades just because the wind was that strong. Mm -hmm. So they had to pretty much dig underground for so just have like a little shelter so they'd be out of the cold and the out of the storm. And then you got Toriko sitting up there like that. Chest out baby. <laughs> Who does that in a storm? Crazy. Nobody. Crazy. Nobody. Oh, I forgot about the fourth camp. Of course the, the evil people. The evil gourmet hunter organization. They disgust me. <laughs> they disgust me. Just go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just gonna be over here just thinking about how disgusting I am. This this person I thought was a woman, which is a person, Tommy Wait. Tommy Rod. Disgusting. He spits out bugs. Now, now you're seeing, you're watching the episode, so spitting out bugs. So of course you're thinking, like we were thinking, oh, little bugs, you know, probably you know do some reconnaissance or something like that, make them let them know where Torco and the guys are at. So right. you're thinking. Capture level, I don't know, seven. Like, maybe five. Yeah, something some low. One digit. One digit. So, spits out the first one. Capture level, 39. Now, we now we both, we paused the episode and was like, wait a minute. Ain't these bugs as strong as the thing that they were just in for the jewel meat? 
Now, how does how how did these levels go? I, Cause I'm scared. I'm scared. Like it's almost like why did we watch all the rest of the episodes? Cause, Cause now you're looking back, you're like at the crocodile, like level five. You're like, Psh, get that out of here. Right. So this person is spitting out a uh, capsule of thirty nine, and of course there was a forty. It was like thirty nine, thirty seven, thirty five, forty, and they just Psh, they just peer on mm. out and, of there. And then like, and then he showed up something even more creepier in his mouth. I don't, it looks, I can't even describe it. I'm pretty much out of words to say about it. Torko's gotten very, a little, a little dark, a little, just a little dark there. It's super dark. It's, not, it's, it's nowhere where it was at the beginning. No, it was all happy food and get this stuff. Now it's all about the world. <laughs> the stuff is online. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is not a game, people. No, no, they're, they're trying to find some food and people are trying to like, no, you can't have that because I'm going to take it. It's century soup, boy. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it better be worth it. Oh, I, I appreciate it. It, it better be worth it. I'm serious, man. Because if, if, if some bull crap come out of nowhere, I'm going to be like, yo, I'm done for like five seconds. I'm going to watch it again because I'm that big of a fan. So would you go through what they're going through to get this century soup? Hell no. <laughs> i say that quick because I'm just not, no. Look at, I'm on the couch. We film on a couch. What? People stand up and film. What? Film on the couch. So, what about you? Would you do it? Uh, I just, I really don't he did, know. You do it. I, I, I don't know. You do it. I mean, if I was, you know, Kamatsu and my homeboy was Turco, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Be right there. Turco got it. Turco is his workhorse right now. Like, whoosh, yeah. <laughs> Take me to the soup. Whoosh, yeah. Turco, about to die. Come save it. Got me. Thanks. Give me that blue buffalo. Mm. Mm. Wrap yourself. If he didn't cook, if he didn't cook, he'd be worthless. Yeah. He'd be worthless. Like he's a world class chef. Mm. He's nice. Known all over that thing. But now he, he he's just useful once they get it. But to get it, he's, he's just kind of. Yeah, he's like. Let it go! Let it go! Like, that's how he, he's just yelling. He's yelling. And like people are like, what? And then people get messed up. Mm. It's a crutch, ladies and gentlemen. Look it up. And there was a moment where they're fighting these these buffalo and everybody has their own little time to shine. Right. So Match turns and sees like a whole gang of them st just staring them down. It looks like facing down what the what was some things the three hundred Persians. <laughs> like Persians, there we go. Buffalo's looking like Persians. It's about to be three hundred. It's about to be bad. And then Torco hits the good intimidation. And Match feels it, and he's not even looking at it. It's behind him. He started like it, it didn't even sound like it. Like, nah, nah, yeah, devil voice. Nah, ah. <laughs> them <laughs> things, them things take off so fast, man. <laughs> yes, that's crazy. So how'd you like two episodes overall, dude? I, it's not over. It's not over. I enjoyed both of them I, once again. I'm viewers. I'm gonna say this about Toriko every episode. Just, just to let you know. All right, so if it, if it gets old, I don't care. If you're not watching this, I, what, what are you waiting for? You must understand what we're saying by going and watching this lovely... We're, we're, we're trying to get you on the train now before it's One Piece and it's 500 episodes. I'm going to tell you right now, personal feeling, I think Torko's going on that path. It just might, because there's a lot of food. And the beginning, the gummy island. I love gummy. I love gummies. <laughs> Shout out to my, my LB Matt Gilmore who put me on gummies because I love gu And they had a whole island. Red, blue, orange, a rainbow. Y'all the OD on that island. I have no teeth. <laughs> no teeth. I'd be, uh, that'd be the worst thing to be have no teeth in that anime because you have to eat everything. But this last two episodes have been pretty darn amazing mm -hmm. and especially like like we told you guys with this, you know kind of chill episodes that they were they were plotting they were, something they were gonna come and they because even the chill episode that's when we first saw the mystery person who you revealed that the pink hair yeah spoiler alert it wasn't he, it wasn't even his hair <laughs> got your ass mm -hmm. got me mm -hmm. got me now another spoiler alert Two, one. I think that the mystery person 
is the old guy that they met in the cave. I see it because like the hair or how he is, like he had the cool bar. You mm -hmm. show. He has the cool bar thing going, and he's like he can change his form because like you know he just diesel. And then he knocked out all the beast bugs that the nasty Tommy person <laughs> spit out. We, we, nasty. We gonna just call him nasty Tommy person because that nasty is, Tommy. That is gross. Well, yeah. That that, that is effing gross. Okay. Yeah, that's his new name. Nasty but, Tommy. but you know this smooth guy was like tss, 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 not. These are high level bugs. How do you do that? Because you're the master. So we, I mean, we're just we're just saying we're we, speculating. We don't know. But we're we're two smart guys, yes. and we know you guys are smart too. So you know, put two and two together. And we watch. So the knocking master, he knocks out the bugs. The hair fits. Mm -hmm. he changes form. Yep. And only you know, so many people knows about how the anatomy of these bugs. So yeah, has has to be somebody that knows what they're doing. Yeah. It's not no. It's not no spring chicken. <laughs> no spring chicken. Spring chicken. <laughs> 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 Not one. He's not, he knows some stuff. Yeah, he doesn't know some stuff. He knows some, knows some stuff. But, you know, I, I, I enjoyed the episode. Enjoyed the episode. Yes. Got a thumbs up here. Oh, uh, you know, just hit us up. You know what I'm saying? Web Slinger. You know what I'm saying? At, on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? The Bobby Fiasco Twitter as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying, uh, you know what I'm saying? Nice watching with you guys and whatnot. Uh, see y'all later.